do you think I'm deaf as well as being insensitive to being treated as an outsider, Alf Stewart? What do you want, Colleen? Oh, nothing from you, thanks. Though there's obviously something going on I should know about. No. Well, why did he make that remark about my antennae? Well, I was just saying to Alf that Jazz and I are officially dating. And I wanted him to keep it to himself, but I know how good you are with keeping secrets, Colleen. Yes, well, I do know how to keep a confidence. Although you must admit that that picnic the two of you went on was a dead giveaway. You don't miss a beat. Oh, my lips are sealed. <laughs> now, in return, I have a small favour to ask of you. What is this? A letter of complaint about Mitchell Cox and Blake Smith. Oh, you want me to read this? No, no, I want you to give it to the principal tomorrow. Ex-Constable Holden did speak to them, but the little devils took no notice. OK, well, I will deliver this to the principal in person. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uru. No, no. <laughs> Thanks, Alf. No worries. It'll take some careful planning, but we think we can put something in place that'll bring the ring down. By the end of the week? I think so. Look, the important thing is to ensure no one gets hurt. There are some heavyweights involved. Rick believes that Noel Anderson genuinely fears for his own safety. He does. I mean, I th he's desperate. I think that's, that's why he's so dangerous. Do you think we could get his wife out? No, I think we should leave her where she is, not involve her. Look, why don't you head home and get some rest, and I'll talk over the details with Jack. OK. Look, guys, thank you so much. This is just such a relief. Yeah, as long as you're aware of the risks. Well, what are the risks? Am I handing this over to you guys? They'll need you to make it look as though you're going to go through the fire. What, so you want me to pretend to give in to Noel's threats? Well, without you, there is no fight, and then without a fight, we've got nothing. You don't have to agree to this. No, it's completely up to you, Rick. I mean, we will give you every protection we can, but at the end of the day, we can't guarantee your safety. Hey, you're still up. How's Granddad? Is he still going off? Oh, he's still a bit grumpy, but he's getting over it. So what happened? What did Jack say? Well, he was actually pretty good about it, considering how much of an idiot I've been. So you're not going to get in trouble? No, they said if I help them out now, they're going to give me full immunity. Oh, thank God. When when you took so long, I started to panic that they were arresting you or something. No, no, they, they only want to get Noel. Great, so now that they have your evidence, can they charge him? No, not yet. It's not that simple. They can't just take my word for it. Um, Jack got Constable Fitzgerald involved, and they want to set up a police sting, but they want to use a unit from the city. Why? They reckon that Noel's been getting inside information from Yabby Creek Station. Well, that's, that's why they've never been able to nail down the fighting ring. Right. So what does that mean you have to do exactly? Well, I have to tell Noel that I'm going to fight, and then I have to tell the cops the time and place, and then just before the fight, the cops bust in and raid the place. But what if Noel finds out between now and then that you're double-crossing him? He's going to come after you. He won't find out. Rick, he could. Or, or what if things don't go according to plan? You could get seriously hurt. Yeah, I know a lot of things could go wrong, but I don't really have an alternative. <sighs> oh, it's so dangerous. I don't really want you to do it. OK, well, look, I haven't said yes to anything yet, but if I don't do this and something happens to the baby, I'll never forgive myself. What if something happens to you? Maybe this is the only chance we have to get Noel into prison. And if I don't fight, he's going to come after me anyway. <sighs> Look, I, I want Noel to go to jail as much as you do, but there's this really selfish part of me that can't help but think that if Noel does go to jail, then you'll be Viv's only support. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about sending him in there, but it could be the lesser of two evils. How do you mean? Well, if Rick lets Noel down, then it's not only Noel after him, it's all the guys that Noel owes money to. So basically he's in a no-win situation. Poor kid. Well, he's lucky he came to you when he did, and he's lucky you went into bat for him. Oh, he's a mate. I was hardly going to turn him away. Mm. Thanks for coming here tonight. It's OK. It's like old times. Hmm. Look, I, um, I have to ask you. You're not having second thoughts about leaving, are you? Look, although you're a screw-up and all, we miss you. You're a good cop. 
Well, it's a bit late to change my mind now. Little birdie told me you got my desk. Don't avoid the issue. If you want your uniform back, it's not too late. So, have you got anything in mind? Anything you might lend your hand to? Honestly, no. Mm. That's what I thought. I decided to accept your proposal. I'm glad to hear you've come to your senses. But it's on the condition that as soon as the fight's over... I get to be part of any decisions Viv makes to do with the baby. Yeah, good luck with that. No, it's a deal. I'll be in touch with the time and a location. Don't you mess me around, matey, because you have run out of chances. See you in a few days. The question every bride to be dreads. Is set a date yet? So why is her fiance stalling? You're not having second thoughts about oh, this wedding. There's something else I need to talk to you about. What will he say that will change their lives forever? Can we just move on? You deserve to be happy, and, and, and she makes you happy, right? All new Home and Away weeknights. And don't miss the brand new blog on our website, updated weekly by Leah. Just go to Yahoo 7 and search for Home and Away. Yeah!